Good evening. We are on Crime TV. We're doing a requested reading. Y'all, I don't even know how to say this. Kim Jong Hoon. Um, how he was mistreated and how it is correlated to today. Okay. Um, I do get the word sacrificial. Some form of sacrifice. How was he mistreated? There's a lot of, uh, Strictness, a way a person has to be very, very strict. Uh, I get the feeling of him feeling like um, his, his air was being taken out of him. Okay, so how... Did he hang himself? Something, um, I'm just getting like the air. But it could also mean as a person is living life, they feel like their life is just being taken from them. He has no control over his own life. What he does, who he talks to. And there are things he does like to do that are highly criticized. Very strict parents, very strict people around him. And this is kind of something that's going on in his bloodline. Um, strictness is a thing. I just keep getting him saying I wasn't able to be myself. I never was able to be myself. I was already gone before I was gone, if that makes any sense. I could not live my life the way I wanted to live. So I wasn't really living. His life was taken from him. A person who loved to have fun. He just wanted to be himself. He's very fun, vivacious inside. He could not let this side be seen because he had to be very conservative. Very laid back. People were telling him what to be, what to do. But I have my own gifts, my own goals. I don't get to utilize them. No one really appreciates them. And I work hard, I do a lot, but it seems to go unnoticed. My efforts. What's the point in being here? That's pretty heavy. That's a depression that is hard to understand. People drove him to this feeling of emptiness. And I feel that he saw no other way out. This is the only way he could be free, is to be spiritually free. <clears throat> he writes, he likes to write. 
You see him writing things. That's the part that's overlooked and not appreciated. They don't really admire my writing. They admire this thing that I have to be for show, but it's really not all of me. There's other things to me that are not as highly appreciated, but the false part of me is. Um, it's an image that I have to put out there. I get criticized a lot. Things that I do get criticized a lot <clears throat> outside of what I'm told to do. And I just feel that no one understands me. Okay, I'm really feeling this is some form of abuse. Because this hurts. It hurts my feelings. It's a deep, dark depression. Look at this. The video, everything is just dark. That led him to this point. He saw no other way out. So if he could go back, what would he change? He say I'd be more carefree. I wouldn't care so much about what people think. I was always taught to care about what people think. If I could come back and spiritually know what I know now, I would not care. I would be myself. I would be happy. I wouldn't care about the spotlight and limelight so much. It's so overrated. That's what it is. So overrated. But being yourself is so underrated. And I talk about this, that people support all the wrong things. All the wrong things. Being false for the cameras. He likes to write. It's something about writing. He may even have diaries or things he's wrote about his feelings kept away. Okay, someone, a female used to sing songs to him. I don't know if it's like when he was little or a baby. It's in a different language, though. It's very soothing. He thought about this before he did what he did, too. So, possibly does he have a female who has passed away, like a uh, mother, very um, important female figure in his life. Is what it is that used to sing to him. If he could come back and do it again, he would be, he's saying stronger and wiser, and he would just forget about fame and fortune and just be himself and live life happy that way. Because he, Thought fame and fortune was something it wasn't. He thought it was the answer to everything. But it left him very empty. Because honestly, he really didn't like it. I'm more 
other person likes to be alone. He's a loner, but had to pretend to be this person that's so out there, a big socialite when he's really an introvert. And every day he woke up, he felt like he had to put on this suit and be somebody else. That's kind of harsh mentally to do. Um, I can't get him saying I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It was false. It wasn't true. It wasn't myself. I didn't want to be that person. But who's going to listen? Who's going to understand that? He's going within. He's um, comforting himself within. He's sheltering himself within. He's pulling away. This is what depression is. You are disconnecting from the world. And eventually that's what happened. There's a lot of darkness still around him. It's still like he's still feeling these feelings on the other side as well. And just keep him if I could do it over, if I could do it over. If I could do it over. I would do things different. I would open my door and just run out and laugh and just leave everything behind. All these crazy thoughts and just be happy with life and myself and not get so wrapped up in what the world want me, wants me to be and what the world wants to see of me. I would literally live life. Because I don't know where he is right now. He's saying this is no place to be. Even when I was alive, it was not a place to be. To pull myself away from the world. And go into my own dark prison. It wasn't fair what I was doing. Maybe I could have talked to someone. Someone may have listened. I didn't give anyone a chance. I took my own path. He is regretting the way he lived life. And this is something none of us should ever, ever do, especially in death, is have the regret that we didn't live life. We didn't take advantage of it. We're so worried about what people think of us, what they want us to be, instead of worry about what we want to be. He is still stuck in this dark depression, this dark world. He's still stuck there with regrets. This is not good. This whole video is dark. It's just dark. This is where he is. Wow. What in the world was this boy going through? Uh, 
Okay, he's pulling away again. He's going back into this sadness and depression and doesn't want to communicate. The same thing he did in life. He got to a point that he went into a very dark, depressive state. Where he just said, I don't want to live anymore if this is living. Instead of taking the leap of li truly living. It's letting your hair down and saying, the H with it. <laughs> you know, being yourself. Going against the grain, you know? And I know that's hard to do where he's from. But some do, and it's beautiful, actually. Okay, I'm going to keep hearing this. If I could do it all again. I could just do it one more time. That's what he keeps saying. This is a lesson to many people out there. If you get into this state of being, talk to someone, um, or talk to a higher power, talk to somebody, you know, get your feelings out. I feel that he did right. But he was always right about how depressed and unhappy he was. Everything was so dark. There wasn't really any light or positivity that was able to come in, you know? Um, this is truly sad. I'm scared to death to call up the EVP. Um... On this one, I knew I didn't want to call this one up. It's too much, too dark. He's somewhere in the dark state. That's what I see. Um, what's the other question? And how is it correlated to life now? Well, how the, the the music industry, the Korean music industry, I guess now. It's the same. If they don't quit being so strict on these young kids and let them live, this is going to be a pattern that keeps repeating itself over and over again. You cannot suffocate people, mold people. You have to let them live. Living is about being free, freedom of speech, freedom of thinking, freedom of doing the things you love to do. That's what living is. Someone takes this from you, it's not going to be good. It's like you're in a prison. That you don't even deserve. And where he's from needs to quit doing this. To young people. It's not going to change anything. It's going to keep repeating itself until it's changed. How are you going to say something going to change and you keep doing the same thing over and over again? It's not going to change until they change. Till they stop all this strictness on these kids and let them be themselves. That's what. That's what changes things is stopping the same pattern. People that want to lose weight. How do they lose weight? They change what they eat and how much they eat. You can't keep eating the same and then saying, well, how is that going to change anything? It's not.
And they call that insanity, doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results. It's ridiculous. You're going to have a lot of more young people gone because of the pressure. And why in the world are people being pressured on being themselves? Because the image is themselves. Okay, well, now there's no image. Now there is a lost boy that was lost in life and lost on the other side. You think this is fair? You're in darkness in life and you in darkness too? When you left? Because this is something that was never healed. Something that was never dealt with. But then depressed people say, well, how do you deal with it? And they usually take negative ways to deal with it like he did. He just withdrew in himself. And this is something that doesn't need to keep happening. You're going to have a lot more lost souls. So get it together. Where's this Korea? Get it together, Korea. Stop this. This is a very depressing dark reading, and I can't get any light out of it because he's not anywhere light, and he's still in this depressive state, and I, it's just making me feel bad doing this, and um, my heart goes out to him, and I feel sorry for him. I really do. Um, I hope he can find some healing on the other side and not stay in this place. I really do because it's not it's not good to live in an eternal depression. It's not good. Um and then a lot of people don't realize depression is a spirit. A lot of people don't realize that it's a dark evil spirit. It tells lies. It convinces us of things that are not true. It tells us things like, oh, things will never change. Oh, it's not going to get better. But you haven't given it a chance. Once you take this path to take your life, you have not even given things a chance to change. You have made a final decision that you made up your mind that this is it. And most of them see on the other side, if they had been patient and did some inner work, things could change. But Taking your own life is just what it is. You have take you have robbed yourself of that opportunity. Cause you have not given yourself a chance to see if things may turn different. There may be a different outcome. With inner work, manifestation, prayer, seeking answers, seeking guidance. You have not given yourself that chance. You've robbed yourself of your life. And it's a sad thing that happens more too often. Because in a lot of these countries, death is not looked upon seriously. Like it's just something that happens. And people feel like they will be reborn into something else. You know, a lot of people don't look at death the same. 
but uh, as you've seen this reading it's very dark it, it, nothing has been said that's been uplifting besides the good teachings that's coming out of it this is bad So you want to live in this for eternity. This is what it is. <laughs> and the only light there is, is the candles. And he doesn't even have that there. Okay, so we can show you what it looks like. There we go. Imagine being in that. When you want to take that route. Let this be a lesson to all. <laughs> please, if you ever think that your life is just over, please. Please speak to your higher power. Pray. Try to get some answers, some positivity, some light into your situation. Do the inner work. Find solutions. Give yourself a chance and opportunity for things to change for the positive. Do not rob yourself of your light, your life, or you could be in this. Regretting the decisions you've made for eternity. That is not it. This is serious. It's not a play joke. And this country should be ashamed of themselves pushing young kids to this. I said it. The other question was, and how is this correlated in the future, that this pattern will keep repeating itself? If this doesn't change, let these kids be kids. Let them be themselves. Let them live life. Don't mock the things they enjoy doing. Let them embrace those things. Those are called gifts, things when people write, people do things to express themselves, you know? This is really sad. I want to get out of this energy, please. And this is really the darkest reading I've ever done, and I've done some pretty messed up things, y'all. But... I don't want to be here. I didn't, I didn't, no, no, no. I did, I didn't do this. So, that is not it. I'm ready to get out of this energy. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I was not feeling too good, y'all. Um... I did pick him up. I picked up his thoughts and feelings and what he was going through. This is as far as it's going to go. There's not any light in this reading. And um, I feel sorry for him how he was treated and how he felt this was the uh, solution. I'm so sorry. But I hope he could find a place to do the work and um, get some light because this this is terrible. Um, I just want to cry, but I don't want to cry on a video. Um, please, if you're ever thinking about this, y'all, please reach out. If you can't find anybody physically, reach out to, reach out spiritually. 
Um, because you don't want to sit in the dark and regret things. No, you don't. All right, I, I would like to have this. Shit. This is not it. All right, so that should answer the questions for this requested video. I'm sorry it was so negative, but there's nothing positive in this. It's not, and I, I just, I'm not going to fake it because this is a message that needs to get out to people. All right. Uh May he be blessed. And I pray for something positive to come through for my dude. Thank you for watching. Um, blessings to Kim Jong-hun. That's how you say it. Now, I'm not the best pronunciator here. But um, thank you for watching. Y'all know, do like, share, subscribe. Love you guys. Have a great evening.